installment of the worship tech tour at Mavuno Church Hill City. Join us as we take an in-depth look at the church's stunning visual setup from the LED screens to the video processors and also their cameras. We'll get to see it all. So maybe now not sound related, uh, going to the visual yes. visual side. Um, we, have a, we have a screen that uh, we use as a confidence monitor. Yeah. So when we need to communicate uh, uh, certain things to the people on stage, that's what we use. The lyrics being displayed there also they appear differently because yeah. they they would get to see the current slide, like the current lyrics and what is coming up. Yeah, yeah. So that's just a way of communicating to the guys on stage, and it's big enough for like the for guys on week. stage. Yeah, can, yeah, to be able to see can, from here. See. And then at the very top, we have uh, LEDs. Uh, so the LED at the center, yeah. how many panels is it again? That looks it's like... Uh, one, two, think three, four, five. Five by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Like around eight or nine. It's like 45. Like 48. Yeah. So those are like 48... Uh, I don't know this. I think it's P2 or P3 or something like that. So that feed is what becomes our life for here. That's where the, because the, we have cameras, yeah. that is what is being projected there. And then on the sides, we have those, those are, uh, I know the number, those are 28 panels uh, each side. Yeah. So that is where we show now our lyrics for the guys here and, uh, and the graphics. Are they all like um, connected? Like they show the same thing, or can you split them to show no, different things? No, like uh, the ones on top, the two those are connected. Yeah. So what is on this side is mirroring, is mirrored to that side. Ah, so right. it's identical. The two Just on because the side. we have a much bigger uh, stage, so yeah. we we want at least to to get guys on that side. They can see that without being blocked. But this one, the one at the center, yeah. is independent. It's getting a, a whole totally different... I, I think I can show you that on the video mixer when yeah. you get there. Yeah. It gets its own signal feed, but also has the ability to, 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 to project what is on the sides. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, that's cool. Now, I've, uh, I've shown you guys our screens. Uh, actually how we've set it up uh, so if you can actually see from here this is how it was I'll get to the mixer in a sec so the screens on the side they get their feed from this machine uh, we use a program called ProPresenter to do our slides and our presentation and graphics and then that feed goes directly you've seen uh, you've you've been shown our processors down here so it comes from there to our processors and then it goes there and then we have um, another feed i uh, showed you the confidence monitor so we have the two outputs We're using this um, thingy this dongle it gives you two hdmi out so one is going to the processor for the screen one is going straight to the computer on stage to the TV, the monitor, yeah. to the TV that shows our confidence monitor. So everything is controlled by this machine. Whoever is sitting behind here, they can fire up whatever they need as necessary. When it comes to the camera, uh, we use the C Canon C100s, Mark IIs, Mark IIs. So we they come through into this. Uh, we have a Roland VR50 HD. Uh, so this can give you up to four, up to four HDMI inputs, uh, but you can get, you can also get four SDI inputs. Then you just configure uh, which ones you want to use at, at any given time. At this moment in time, we only utilize uh, we only utilize three inputs. So we have one camera. The camera is coming on input one and input three. And then we also have the feed from ProPresenter, which is a, just a duplicate of what is on the sides coming in as input four. So we can switch between the cameras. So 
so like whatever you press here it's so we, we have three it's, it's what is going to be reflect on that side um, so we have a we have a tv inside here just to give you a multi view it shows you all the inputs uh, so these are the inputs this gives you a preview of, of what is actually live so when you press a signal it changes so that is what is actually live so on a, on a service day our our video director will be switching between those two cameras and uh, and the fourth input which is the presenter for times we need to to show something full screen from from presenter so that's the setup that's the setup we have here for our visuals we can also do something very interesting with it sometimes you see when we have like lower thirds you have lyrics overlaying the video uh, uh, from pro presenter this this output can be configured where it's just showing text at the bottom and then when we press the key then we'll have we'll have it overlaying lyrics at the very bottom uh, person was here less i think they changed the settings so i'm not able to show you live how that would actually work but that can be done either through the same computer or we can have another computer uh, that we connect and it's linked to to that computer so that it, every control that's being done it's displayed on that computer it comes in as a separate feed that's why there's an input too that i haven't actually showed so that's where the other input can come in and it can be layered on top of our current video so that it actually shows up as a lower third oh that's uh, cool because now what that also helps us to do uh, we have our adults sitting in this campus but sometimes we have nursing mothers and so we have a space dedicated for them mm, the crash the crash right. or baby central uh, whichever you prefer yeah. you know it. <laughs> so whatever feed is showing on the main screen uh, it is linked to that space is somewhat different it's completely not within here it's outside here so we have a screen set up on that side where actually we are we are sending the same signal that's on the center screen it goes to them so that they're able to follow the service even while they're not in in campus the other the other thing with this the other so we have three different outputs so one goes to our main screen the other goes to our baby central and then also the third one goes to our on stream on stream viewers because uh, we normally go live in our services every sunday so we have a feed the same feed just the same feed that's going on our main screen would be sent back to that's the computer that still does our streaming at the moment uh, so it's sent back there uh, through a capture card uh, we use a program called obs that's open broadcasting studio to do our streaming and, and then my sound um, is uh, i have I, I did show you that I have a matrix uh, from my main of my sub mix. So uh, uh, those cables are coming through into the video mixer as my channel one and two. Mm, I like it still. What I've done on one, I have panned it to the right, on two, I've panned it to the left. Uh, so just to kind of like give you that kind of like stereo, stereo mix or stereo feel, because my mixing, that's actually how I've done it. And then that it merges with the video, which goes to the capture card and and to our streaming. So then that's the why I was saying the, the advantage of actually having matrices of the sub mix is that uh, the processing that I have actually put on the feed on the signal that is coming to to the video mixer is totally independent of the processing that I have done for my front of house. Because if I would have used the same thing, then there would be some frequencies that you'd find. You'd find the mix for those guys who are streaming, it's sounding a bit flat. Uh, because uh, for my front of house, I've drastically cut my lows uh, because I have subs in the house. So that, that would tend to, to fill in where the lows have been cut. I don't want that 
that to is to go to the those guys who are listening because mm -hmm. then they will be missing elements like the kick you can't hear mm -hmm. the kick as as a shoot or the bass or that kind of thing so for my online stream it's almost flat uh, mm -hmm. I've exaggerated a few frequencies like the highs and bumped up to the lows a bit so that uh, if you're in your house you can actually <laughs> get to enjoy especially if you have this good sound system <laughs> you outer complaints are now. Yeah. So 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 now that's that's actually how how we work together. And then um the computer also uh, I use um what is a sound card so that we pick audio from them and it is I think I showed you the iMac on the mixing console. So I'm able to do much control. In future we are trusting to actually have uh, a person, a dedicated person in the control room doing an independent mix because uh, the mixer can actually do that. Yeah, for the, the one going for, online. For the one going online yeah. and even to our BB Central. So so that is something that uh, is in the works. We're just trying to figure out how best to do it. But it can be like a total multi-track system. You have your computer, you have your channels coming and mixing it on a door like um, um, Logic or Adobe. Audition, the one audition. that you like. Yes, I love Audition. <laughs> the one that you like so much. <laughs> yeah, so that is that is a plan. What that will help is now even when you're not here, the sound experience for those guys watching would, would be a notch higher. Yeah. Uh, yeah. If you guys have that capacity to do something like that, that that is actually the way to go. Because this room in itself is totally it's it's soundproof, so once the door is closed, then you 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 just focus on that mix. Yeah. It's it's you're not affected by what is happening in the house, so that's actually the plan. Uh, in that in this room, we normally have about four people at any given at any given uh, uh, wash pro production. So we have a person doing the pro presenter. Uh, that's not the person. He's on stage. That's, I'm that's, just making sure they uh, what I want them to be on stage. <laughs> so the second... I can tell you why though. Yeah. Um, so screens are a complement to the worship. Yeah. And the whole idea of us preparing and having all this equipment is so that we avoid any distractions when people attend church. Um, distractions could include you going on your phone or you talking to someone or even just your mind going, think, starting to think of the huge turned off the iron box between <laughs> that top. <laughs> um, uh, and and, and the, we, came, we did a study and we realized that the human mind focuses for only 45 minutes. And after 45 minutes, uh, you know, you, you, your, your mind will start wondering. Yeah. So we always ask ourselves what will make you sit in the service for one hour, 30 minutes or two hours? And not get distracted yeah. and get everything that is that God wants to say to you in the service. Um, and then also for lyrics, if someone is in the congregation and doesn't know the song, they're able to follow through with the, with yeah. the lyrics on screen. Uh, uh, and failure to that, uh, it will just be another song, and and they would have missed out on a lot. Yeah, so I think it's important that you know churches invest in such equipment. Yeah, and uh, and we're still growing. We're not even where we want to be per se. Um, but we're also not in a bad place. We have to maximize on the resources that God yeah, has given us. For sure. Uh, we have to be good stewards of them um, and use them for his glory. So, yeah, welcome to Mavuno Church, man. Thank you. Thank you, <laughs> Mr. Maluki, music director yeah, extraordinary. Worship leader, worship, worship leader, leader, worship pastor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, over to you, so, judges, to do me. <laughs> so, I'm uh, that guy is just... He has passion. Ziliaki is on another level. It's only him who can talk like that. Yeah, I'm so taking. So I just try to make sure everything is working. Yeah, sure. man. Uh, so he's, he actually spends a lot of time just making sure the lyrics are as they should. To be excellent. So that also he's not thrown off yeah. while he's yeah. actually leading worship yeah. uh, at the front. So that's one of the key people who are always here during a production day. The second person is our video director who gets to actually work with the camera crew to call out shots to and that kind of thing and present what's actually we get to see. The third person is our producer who actually now produces the entire service. Mm. 
they give us cues on how long uh, a particular set is supposed to go, when we're supposed to break, call the uh, stage armor bearers, stage bearers, just coordinate the entire service. Yeah. And then probably, I always jump in from time to time <laughs> just to make sure things things are working. So we have about four about four people in this room at any given time uh, who just help to, to make the service work. There are so many guys that uh, they, we have like uh, two camera guys, we have two two stage stage managers that we coordinate with. Uh, we have radios that we actually communicate yeah. with. So that's 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 Mavuno Hill City. Yes, yes, that's yes. That's the setup we currently have. We are hoping to build it up, but at the moment it works. It works for us. Thanks for joining me on this tour of Mavuno Church Hill City's state-of-the-art visual setup. Don't forget to subscribe to the Worship Tech Tour channel for more exciting tech-focused content, and consider supporting us on Patreon to help us continue bringing you the latest and greatest in worship technology. And as always, don't hesitate to share this video with your friends and fellow tech enthusiasts, including worship leaders. Until next time, see you later.